So what exactly is temperature? Temperature in most basic terms is a measure of how cold or hot something is. And there are three scales that we should know when discussing temperature. So we have the Celsius scale, the Fahrenheit scale, and the Kelvin scale. So the Celsius scale is a scale that is most commonly used worldwide. The Fahrenheit scale is a scale that is primarily used in the United States. And the Kelvin scale is the scale that is used by the scientific community. Now, in this lecture, we're only going to discuss the relationship between Celsius and Fahrenheit scales. Now, one way in which we can define temperature is by arbitrarily choosing or assigning a value for the freezing point and boiling point of water for both the Celsius and the Fahrenheit scales. Now we choose 0 degrees Celsius or 32 degrees Fahrenheit to correspond to the freezing point of water. And we choose 100 degrees Celsius or 212 degrees Fahrenheit to correspond to the boiling point of water. So if we want to develop a relationship between Celsius and Fahrenheit, we can use the range values of these four values as shown. So we essentially want to find the ratio of the change in Celsius to the change in Fahrenheit. So change in Celsius going from 0 to 100 is simply 100. And going from 32 to 212 gives you a change of 180. So we see the ratio of the change in Celsius to the change in Fahrenheit to be 5 divided by 9. So, that basically implies that 1 degree Fahrenheit corresponds to 5 divided by 9 degrees Celsius. So, using this ratio, we can deduce the following equation that gives us the temperature in Celsius knowing the temperature in Fahrenheit. So the temperature in Celsius is equal to 5 divided by 9 multiplied by F, our temperature in Fahrenheit, minus 32. Now, if we solve for this, we can find a formula that gives us the temperature in Fahrenheit knowing the temperature in Celsius. So we simply divide both or multiply both sides by 9 divided by 5, and then we add 32 to both sides. Now, whenever an object, whenever a macroscopic object increases in temperature, that object undergoes thermal expansion. In other words, the molecules or atoms found within that macroscopic object vibrate or move more vigorously. And that implies that the macroscopic object as a whole expands. And this expansion is known as thermal expansion. Now one way that we can measure temperature is by using an instrument called a thermometer. And most thermometers function by using this concept of thermal expansion or compression. For example, let's look at the following thermometer that is essentially composed of a glass tube and inside this glass tube we have a certain fluid, let's say mercury. Now, it is commonly known that glass expands less rapidly than liquid and that means when our temperature increases, our glass expands because the atoms vibrate more vigorously and the liquid also also expands, but the liquid expands more rapidly than the glass. And so the level of this liquid rises to the appropriate temperature value. So let's look at the following example. The temperature as read by a thermometer is 90 degree Fahrenheit. Calculate the corresponding temperature in Celsius. So we essentially want to use this equation. So the temperature in Celsius, what we want to find is equal to 5 divided by 9 multiplied by the given temperature in Fahrenheit, 90 minus 32. So we subtract these values multiplied by 5 divided by 9 and we obtain a value of 32.2 degrees Celsius. So this is the corresponding value in Celsius that corresponds to 90 degree Fahrenheit.